So, first clip of week six, and uh, as I said at the end of the last video, I am going to be doing agility here for a while. Uh, you can see I'm already agility level 72, um, with 275k left to go, and the whole leveling process is like 740k or something, so uh, I've done quite a bit of that today. Uh, I know my interface looks a little screwy, that's because it's been like only taking up half the screen on my second monitor. Uh, with the other half of the screen being Netflix, and my other monitor being Minecraft. Just something to do while I AFK agility. <laughs> uh, I don't know how AFK the mining is, uh, if it's like similar to the, the agility or not. Uh, but if it is, it'll probably be the same case. Um, but I'm looking to get all of this taken care of probably by tomorrow, or at least by the end of the weekend, uh, seeing as today is Friday, and it's actually like really late at night. Uh, I just wanted to make this clip while it's actually still today. Actually still day 36. There's like 15 minutes left in the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's first clip. That's what I've been doing. Probably not going to show off another clip until I hit like 75 agility and 75 mining. So, Oh, my new daily is actually a mining daily. So I might not stay all the way till 75 and just take care of this for like 74 to 75. Who knows? Got a nice golden beam here, God Shard 3. Been doing uh, agility for most of the day and uh, just taking care of the Krill Reaper task so I can get another Reaper task before the day ends. Uh, so yeah. So finishing up the uh, Reaper task, 12,000 Slayer XP and 9 Reaper points, pretty good. Um, this is actually the longest trip here at Zami Boss that I have uh, I've accomplished thus far. Um, something like uh, 56 over 4 is it was like uh, 14 kills, I think, something like that. Um, which is pretty good, I think. So, yeah, uh, it's feeling pretty good about that. So, uh, on to get another Reaper task real quick. That is a five barrows uh, Reaper task, which is no problem. Gonna go take care of that right now. Uh, just to give me something to do other than AFK Agility. I've gotten almost all the way to 75, uh, and then after that it's just going to be a lot of mining, so, yeah. Well, you know, the first Reaper task I got for Barrows was a Varric's, uh, chain body, or plate, plate body, or whatever, but now, now, I get the plate skirt on the first one back. Uh, it's like it's meant to be or something. <laughs> But really, though, that, that makes me really happy. That means I'm uh, two out of four. Yeah, two out of four towards the... Um, it's like a Mauritania Legs 3 or 4 requirement. Uh, so, you know, normally that would take a really long time to make sure you could get, like, a full set of Barrows gear. So the fact that I'm, like, two out of four is, is pretty, pretty great. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> I... <laughs> That's that's three items in like seven barrows or something. What the hell? <laughs> mm, it looks like I'm actually going to be holding on to all the bolt racks now because uh, I can probably make some use of this. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, the third chest didn't have much, but then I noticed there was an elite clue scroll in my inventory, so I guess I'm just on a roll. So, 7,000 Slayer XP and 7 more Reaper points. Doing alright. Uh, I should check and see how many Reaper points that is total. Uh, 52, that's pretty good. On to the next clip. Uh, turns out I made a mistake and it was a Torax plate body, not Verax. So now I've got one piece from three different sets, so. Oh well, still working on the... Uh, <laughs> Still on the way there, no problem. And here's the end of that uh, elite casket that I uh, just got, and that's pretty nifty, yeah? That's uh, like 944k worth of uh, battle stabs if I add the uh, 16 water orbs to it. Two U seeds and a palm tree seed, that's really good farming. And um, new unique, it's not really unique, but new treasure trail item, I don't have those yet. So. On to the next clip. So, starting to work on mining now. Uh, it's a decent XP rate. 
Uh, it would be faster if I had a dragon pickaxe, but that's, you know, quite a bit of grinding away, so uh, I decided just to go for the, uh, you know, the levels now. Um, got most of the way to 75, just in case I end up hitting an agility daily uh, one day soon, and it'll just knock out the rest of the XP without having to grind any. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this for a while, probably like all day tomorrow, uh, trying for that 75 mining, or at least somewhere in 74 range so I can do the uh, 14 mining urns. I rerolled a uh, beacon daily, like lighting six beacons, to this. And, uh, yeah, I need to go get a, um, a Reaper task for today, so I'll, I'll probably do a clip of that uh, later on. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on now. So, apparently this rolled over. I thought I'd come and check, and, yep, statue is, in fact, exploding. Uh, so that's taken care of, and I can get some more, uh, some more rocks. I believe that is the fourth time I've done that. Something like that. So, morning of day 38, uh, chopping some teaks. That's um, something I worked on, like, a long time last night. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of AFK skilling so that I can avoid that whole, like, burned out feeling that you get. Like, I've been going pretty hard at, at RuneScape uh, for over five weeks now. Um, at which point, most people would start to get, like... Oh, I need to go play something else. Uh, so I've been playing uh, modded Minecraft on one screen, and just like taking care of uh, well, wood cutting over here. I started out at 72, now I'm up to 74, um, so I can bank 75 construction. And I had worked on the agility for a while, the mining. Um, yeah, I might even go to do some uh, rune crafting if I really feel like it, or uh, fletching, and fletch like all of the maples my kingdom will end up giving me by tonight. I'll have like, I think 3,000 in the bank, um, which will take quite a few, uh, quite a while to go through and get all the way to uh, level 70 there for branches of dark mine, I believe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if, if anyone's wondering what I've been working on while there's like no clips, uh, I'm just doing a lot of AFK skilling. Um, I will show, like, big level drops and stuff like that, though. On to the next clip. So, I have been woodcutting, like, the entire day. I'm pretty sure I made a clip this morning showing that I was woodcutting here. And, uh, now I'm up to 76. Um, yeah. Uh, I just logged back in after the daily reset. Let me fix my, uh, layout. And I, I was standing directly beside a, a evil tree, so I figure I'll chop it while I'm recording. Um, I'm not completely there uh, to having all of the uh, teaks out of the way for 75 construction. I believe I'm at like 35 to 3600, something like that. Um, and I need, I don't know, like 2000 more maybe? I can't remember. I have... Uh, I have all of these urns, these like last four urns to fill, and then like 12 to 15 more after that, uh, just doing teaks. Uh, so yeah, my new daily, I read it is a Jade Vine challenge. I don't know what goes into this, like, I don't know what a Jade Vine actually is. I think it's an Herblore habitat or something like that. Um, I might do it, or I might just re-roll it and see what happens. Um, but I'm, I'm finally going to do some, like, manual stuff. I'm going to go do the Reaper task I currently have, which is... Uh, it's either Krill or Dagonoth Kings. I believe it's Dagonoth Kings. Um, and then I'm going to get my new Reaper task, take care of that, and then probably do some Slayer or something like that. And uh, work on summoning as well. Um, really trying to get all of these stats taken, uh, taken care of that I need for Prif. So, I know this has been a long clip, but on to the next one. So, first kill here at Dagonoth Kings, got a warrior ring, uh, so that's a repeat. I'm pretty sure the drop tables were changed, so I think that's the only ring that can drop from Rex, aside from the Berserker ring. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I uh, completely forgot any poison, but I think I can survive, uh, seeing as I don't take any damage per kill. <laughs> so, on to the next clip. And another on the third kill. I swear my luck here at Dagonoth Kings is just absurd. Let me let me let me just just continue this freak out down here. 
Okay, 88 kills. I've gotten three rings, three warrior rings, and two dragon hatchets. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> also wanted to note that I extended the uh, Dagonoth bones daily that I had, uh, so it went up from five to ten, and uh, re-rolling the Jade Vine daily gave me a 80 flat pack fancy teaks, um, so I extended that as well. So, 160 of these to make, and then I'll get a bunch of bonus XP, and that saves me from quite a bit of wood cutting. Uh, but after this, after this, you know, and, and whatever next Reaper task I have, uh, I probably will just go back to finish off the last, like, you know, 2,000 logs or whatever it is. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> I My Reaper assignment was four Chaos Elementals, and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> god what is my luck on this account okay so it's like eight barrows chest or something like that i don't know ten and i have three pieces i have two dragon hatchets and three warriors rings from 90 kill count there at, at rex and I got, <laughs> I just got the Chaos Elemental pet, which, let me, let me, uh, I've got, I've got the, uh, the wiki page already open. 1 in 2,500 on <laughs> kill 4. Ah. I don't think any other clip can top this, but as always, <laughs> holy shit, on to the next one. <laughs> I'm still standing exactly where I was when I ended the last clip, <laughs> like, like, calming down. And, uh, <laughs> I just, I really like this, like, how the aesthetic looks, so, my guy over here already looks pretty cool, but the, the wings and the Chaos Elemental pet really go good together. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's see. In Varrock, but upside down, dead and demons in this town. This is, this isn't Varrock. What, what you want about? <laughs> Well, I was working on the uh, Calphites task at Exiled Calphites, and uh, remembered that I needed to come up here to uh, collect from Miscellanea. So, there we go, 2600 uh, there. Gonna have some, hopefully some good seeds from those birds' nests, and then just some, eh, some alright uh, herbs, I guess. Yeah, nothing special there. So, uh, heading back... Um, made some more rings of wealth just so I can come here uh, a lot more easily and uh, still kinda shaken about that pet drop I don't know where did they go should be right around here it's, there we go um, yeah so I might go back to doing some more AFK skilling later on uh, but I did hit 70 Slayer and uh, just gonna keep working on that because I think 75 Slayer uh, as well as 75 range are two things I need to get out of the way and 69 strength for um, forgiveness of a chaos dwarf needs to be taken care of. Uh, but 3,000 maples to use right here, uh, which will which will be pretty good. And yeah, uh, as you can see, I was working on teaks pretty hard. Uh, and I can probably use these at artisans workshop as well. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, right. The uh, the birds' nests. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's pop this stuff uh, back in here. Pop out the rest of these birds' nests. Alright. So, willow, curry, those are alright. Really glad that all of these are tree seeds. Oh, I guess they're always tree seeds. Never realized that. I thought they were a mix of, like, tree and herb seeds, but there we go. I uh, got the crush nests stacking up, and um, they're all right. The right amount of uh, farming XP. This is like I don't know, ten or twenty thousand between everything here, which is pretty great. Uh, and the crushed nests are uh, in the fifties now. Okay, on to the next clip. Got an aberrant specter task, which should be uh, pretty fun, seeing as. Um that means uh, I get to train ranged, and I'm going to get a lot of herb drops, uh, noted herb drops. So, uh, 
Mark regression on the way to that 75 or below. So, um, I don't know if I, I mentioned it, but I'm working on fletching. Uh, burned through, well, quite a bit. Um, level 62 to 66 or something like that. Uh, and it was something like, I don't know, 2,500 maples that I ran through. Uh, you can see I have 595 left, or 618, yeah, and 2911 uh, shield bow use. <clears throat> It'll be a few more days of um, uh, miscellanea before I can actually get level 70 here, and then I'll just uh, end up fletching the rest of these maples. Uh, and then I'll just start devoting them to fire making for a little bit until I get the highest level uh, fire making um, necessary for uh, for any quest there is, pretty much. Uh, that's what that level 76 requirement is. You can get quest cape with 76 fire making. That's just why I said it. Uh, yeah, so this will be the last clip of tonight. Um, don't know what I'll work on when I get back tomorrow. Maybe uh, Artisan's Workshop or something like that. Just AFK. I know it's like AFK week or something right now. Uh, feels like slow progress, but um, actually getting quite a bit done. I mean, come on. There's like 6,000 teaks there. You can't say I didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, uh, see y'all tomorrow. Also, Total level 1776, hashtag America. Just, just wanted to, yeah, throw that in there. <laughs> so, haven't done too much today in game, but uh, working on Slayer, uh, doing my second task or something like that for today. Aberrant Spectres, finally hit 100 Ghostly Essence. Uh, so, I've got the Attuned Ectoplasmator now. Uh, so, that's cool. Getting lots of herbs. Um, I believe 75 is a requirement for Plague's End, so I'm going for that. Uh, and, you know, working towards, like, spiritual mages and stuff like that. Uh, I need 75 ranged, for sure. Um, so I'm, like, sort of AFKing here. I, I turn on uh, auto-retaliate and then just stand in here and these guys, you know, automatically aggro to you. Um, but yeah, uh, just going to work on a little bit more AFK stuff. Uh, got this. And then my new daily is a Bandos Throne Room agility. Uh, so I'm going to reroll that, hoping for some, um, what's that called? Herblore. Yeah, hoping for an Herblore prayer daily. And uh, tomorrow will probably be a quest day. Knock out like 15 quests or something, so. Well, it looks like I have to go for trimmed. Like, the mob I was killing in the last clip dropped the champion scroll. Are you kidding me? <laughs> do I, do I read it or something? No, I have to I have to go kill him. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, I've still been killing them, but that was under 200 kill count on aberrant specters to get the champion scroll. There are some people out there with trim that are pretty salty. <laughs> uh yeah, so I guess I, I guess I might have to go for trim after this series. Gosh, I should pick up the pace and actually push for comp. Uh... Starting day 40, um, I said I was going to be doing a lot of AFK stuff last night, and I did. Um, let's see, I think I have like, yeah, 1200 iron ore left, and I started with like 2500 or so. Um, so yeah, I, I was here for quite a while, seeing as it takes like 8 seconds per... That's 1,200 that I went through, so... Um, yeah, so I'm really close, uh, going to be really close to the uh, 68 smithing mark, which is what you need for um, King er, King of the Dwarves? Birthright of the Dwarves, the one before it. Uh, yeah, so I may wait to start um, doing quests until uh, I go to my mining daily, which is like 14 decorated urns, use that iron ore over here on smithing, um, and then keep working on strength, because I only need, uh, four more levels there, and then I can burn through, like, 20, 25 quests or something like that. But I will quest before the end of the week. I know I've been doing a lot of AFK stuff, so I feel like I need to make up for it. <laughs> um, you know, even though it's AFK stuff, it is still making progress, though it just feels a lot slower. So. Yikes. Well, there's, uh, Tears of Guthix for the week, 126 tiers. Uh, 22k summoning, that's pretty good. Got a agility lamp from Meg, uh, so 12k agility right there. So I just completed the uh, 
fancy teak dresser daily challenge that I extended. Um, it took a while to get the molten glass, which is why I put it off for a while. Uh, I now have 63 construction, so I'm going to make myself the aquarium. There we go. Uh, I don't I don't think the orientation matters. And then I want to see what I need for this prawn broker thing. So I can bring the two golden eggs I already have here. So eight teak planks. All right. Uh, yeah, cool. Going to hand in this daily challenge, hoping to get like 60k XP and a lot of mahogany planks. Uh, it's 54k, pretty close to 60, and 67 mahogany planks, which is good. Um, 480 coins, okay. Uh, so yeah, now I've got these 412 mahogany logs or mahogany planks to go through, and then um, you know quite a few teaks, uh, and I'm. I might be able to afford 75. Not sure, but I might have the money on me to do it, uh, see, seeing as I have like 1.7 mil. So that's something I'm going to work on for a little bit. And yeah, on to the next clip. So I've been working on the uh, 14 mining urns uh, daily challenge that I had, and day just passed over. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Like, it would be good, because I'm trying to get range 75 and strength to, like, 69 and then 77, but uh, I don't I don't think uh, this is that great. Hopefully I'll get a good reroll off of that, though, maybe, like, uh, herb lore construction or something like that, a little more useful. Uh, getting close to total level 1800, and, yeah, just gonna finish up this, uh, this daily, and then go finish up 68 smithing, which was a goal that I had for quests. Uh, and tomorrow will definitely be a quest day. Um, tomorrow will be, uh, yeah, day 41, so. And there's the mining daily taken care of, 16k mining XP, it's pretty nice. Just finishing up my first proper tree run. Uh, did orange trees and willows. And now using those oranges to plant uh, what the three maples I had. And um, well, all I had left was an acorn, so I'm doing an oak sapling. Uh, and I'm going to keep the oranges up for a little bit, because I'll probably end up getting a lot of maple seeds over time. So, yeah. Uh, up to uh, 69 uh, smithing now. And 56 farming. So, doing some fletching with my uh, logs from Kingdom Management. And there we go, 69 fletching, uh, but that's not it, that's total level 1800 on, uh, oh, it's it's like almost 2 a.m., so that's day 41 now. Uh, so yesterday is going to be a quest day, uh, I'm getting close to 70 fletching, um, which will probably happen after the daily reset, not sure if that's my only requirement left for branches, um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to get more stuff out of the way. Uh, let me see how many quests are over here. Uh, 21, and there's going to be a few more because there's uh, more in the Elves series. I think I can go all the way up to Morning's End Part 2. Yeah, I think I can do all of them except for uh, for Plague's End. Um, yeah, uh, I also wanted to re-roll this challenge, which I'm going to do now. Uh, rune crafting. That's... Um, feels kind of useless. Like, <laughs> that would take forever. I can't actually access the Death, Al death Altar. Like, I would have to go through the uh, the Abyss. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep this, I guess. Uh, so eventually I'll, I'll take care of, of these. Uh, yeah. And starting off the morning with 70 fletching. Uh, I had completely ran out of the maple logs um, that I was using, but I decided just to, uh, you know, Fletch some bowstring. So, I'm gonna take these and sell them, and uh, time to start questing. And there's the end of Back to My Roots. First quest down for the day. Wow, 24,000 farming. That's uh, really nice. And then I think I can plant this uh, Jade Vine seed over here. Oh, there's <laughs> there's actually 75 agility, so that's, that's fun. Uh, okay, on to the next quest. So, there's the end of all of the Lumbridge and Draenor tasks. 
uh, I only had like, I don't know, eight or nine left, and then I went and did the introductory tasks, because uh, <laughs> I was talking to Bob in, in, uh, in Lumbridge instead of Ned for the, um, thinking that uh, Bob would give me the, uh, the last ring. Uh, so just gonna use this on Herblore. It's not worth too much, and eh, 9k XP is nice. Um, yeah, cool. On to the next uh, quest, which you can, you might be able to guess what it is just by what's in my inventory. And there's the end of Curse of Arav. On to the next quest. And there, I completely finished Dimension of Disaster. Uh, every single part. There's the last of the XP lamps from it. Uh, let's see if there's another quest pop-up thing here. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go uh, do the task set right now just because uh, it doesn't take too long to finish. Eh, never mind. I didn't realize uh, just how many uh, skills were required for this. Like, 90 thieving, 91 construction. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go do more quests, though. And there's Devious Mines Complete, that's a really easy quest. Uh, on to the next one. So, doing my new daily, I uh, had to re-roll to actually get it. Uh, where's that bird meat? And uh, then I extended it to 26 instead of, uh, there was like 13 beforehand. Uh, so pick up this pouch and then go turn it in. Another good tip. Um, something I just learned actually. I bought the raw bird meat here from a, uh, a seller in Ooglog. It's uh, the store's called Fresh Meat. You can look it up on the wiki. And uh, they sell raw bird meat packs of 50, so you can buy like 300 really easily. And uh, each one's used for spirit terror birds, which are like low level beast of burden. And they're a lot easier to make than um, the war tortoise pouches. Uh, because of how difficult it is to get the uh, the shells. So, yeah, good tip there, and... Okay, almost 18,000 XP, it's pretty good. I uh, gotta level up, and a single rune bar. <laughs> Alright. And because it's a new week, I've got a lot of these st strange rocks built up already. Uh, just gonna place them. Really good uh, XP drop wonder what the XP per hour is, just keep placing these. <laughs> it's probably pretty great. Uh, didn't get a single level. Um, that's alright. It was uh, still really nice XP. Um, oh yeah, and I did break 24 million earlier. I didn't, I didn't show that, but it's 24.3 million now. So so getting my weekly Sliskelion lamp. Uh, used up like all of my herb lore supplies, getting 61 out of the way. Uh, just so I could get a little bit more XP from this. Nice, 7k XP. That is one dead bug. This quest is, uh... Yeah. But that's Salt in the Wind complete. So it's now day 42, and I'm level uh, 1817. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of, like, AFK construction. Uh, yeah, 1,090 of these made. <laughs> uh, burned through a lot of my logs. Uh, rip gold, like 1.4 mil down now. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue going through these probably. Uh, now that I'm 70 construction, I'm getting really close to that 75 mark. Uh, so yeah, just got a little bit left to do. And, um, well, this is ending off tonight. Uh, it's 2 a.m. I stayed up really late again. Uh, so yeah, day 42, end of week 6. Now it's actually day 42, midday. Um, worked on construction quite a bit more, and as you can see I'm working on Slayer now. Uh, up to 72 construction, so most of the way there, and yeah, I burned through a lot of gold. I ended up selling the uh, <clears throat> maple shield bows I had made for like 500k back, but I was down to like 200,000, so I thought I should go start slaying again and uh, build that cash stack up a little bit more. Um, especially seeing as I'm not, not doing anything today for Thanksgiving, so I just have a free day. Uh, yeah. So, gotta make them gains. 
Just got a new task, and that's Greater Demons, so it looks like I'll be uh, heading back to Zamorak Bus and doing a number of trips there. Right before I uh, started killing uh, Krill for the, uh, the, the task, yeah, uh, I went to Fry's for Black Friday, got a new mouse, which is nice, and uh, some hardware for my girlfriend. Um, and here's my new daily. Just wanted to get that on uh, on record. I've crossed 70 infernal urns, which is really nice. Um, probably going to extend that because I can always use the urns uh, for prayer XP. And uh, crafting all of those is going to get quite a bit of crafting. And then I really need the crafting. And crafting's it's really hard to do before prif, especially for Iron Men. So, uh, yeah, it's what I'll be working on later on. I get really unlucky when it comes to uh, drops here at Krill. I'm past 100 kills now, and I just got another effigy. I I really wish I didn't get these over and over again. I think it heard me the last time that I complained about an effigy, and uh, yeah, it gave me another effigy. So that's my longest trip here yet. That was 25 kills. Uh, I got pretty lucky with the uh, super restore and shark drops, so it lasted quite a while, but. Uh, and yeah, that was also the one where I got, like, the effigy on the first kill or whatever from the last clip. Um, steadily getting this task taken care of, and then I think I'm gonna go do my old Soul Reaper task and, uh, get a new one for today, and then finish up the, uh, the week there. Turns out the last time I finished a Reaper assignment, uh, I didn't get another one the next day. I forgot. So, time to go pick one up. So I got DKs, which I skipped, then QBD, nah and uh, Barrow's Brothers, so I'm gonna go take care of this one. Oh, and it didn't drop from the boss. Finally! Something! Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. Like, I went through this entire task. I'm... Oh man. Starting to get discouraged. <laughs> How many kills is that? Let's see. 164, and it's taken that long to get two pieces. Still don't have a spear. That's like a 1 in 72. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, like two drops later, I got another hood. Rip. Um, especially seeing as like hoods are, are fairly useless after I get a Slayer helmet, and they can't be augmented. I don't really know what to think about this. Um... I don't know, I'll hold on to it. Good for the trophy tab, I guess. Uh, wait, what's the alcohol? Yeah, no, no chance. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I'll just hold on to that. But, cool to see that I'm at least getting some drops. And I might be able to push one more kill. And there we go. I actually finished the task without having to come back and, uh, you know, get a new inventory of food. That puts me at 175 krill kill count. Uh, and that's three unique drops, I think? Maybe four? I can't remember what the uh, the other would be. Yeah, I think it's just three. Um, so yeah, things going fairly well. Uh, gonna go take care of those Barrows kills, and that'll finish off the week. It's actually past midnight, so I, I should have technically finished it already. Um, but you know, I'm, j I'm just gonna push it a little bit further. Uh, so yeah, and I think that was my longest trip there at uh, Krill uh, that I've managed thus far. It was like 35 kill count or so, which is pretty good. Pretty good sustain. Uh, got lucky with the food drops and uh, just managed to skimp by and survive consistently. So uh, yeah, gonna go open this uh, crystal chest and go do some barrows. I uh, thought I'd mention that uh, as of now, I'm total level 1828, and uh, 26.3 million XP, which puts my gains for the week at uh, somewhere from 5 to 6 million, it's pretty good. 150 coal, that's actually really useful. Uh, okay, so on to Barrows now. It'll, it'll be pretty quick, it's only like 5 kills, so. Well, at least I have luck here at Barrows. There's the first chest down. I'm pretty sure I have another piece of that set. Maybe it's the plate skirt? Yeah, I think it's the plate skirt. Awesome. On to the next clip. 
And with the end of that Reaper task, that's me for the week. Just gonna search Reaper points. I have 67. Uh, I should really keep yeah, keep up with that more often. But uh, so here's this one Varex piece, and then I've got a little uh, trophy tab back here. Let's see, that's Varex plate skirt and Varex uh, brassard. <laughs> nice. All right, on to the next week.